test of rural roads here on full self driving 11.4.4. I got it for a month to see how it does. We'll go from there. The first thing I notice is on narrow roads like this, and even if they aren't narrow, if there's no lines, it tends to just drive in the center of the road. And if there's a north, another car coming toward us, it'll get over to the right more. But until it sees another car, it rides in the middle of the road, and that makes the other person wonder, is he going to get over or what? So I wish they would just bias it toward the right. I don't know why they can't do that. I know there's no lane markings, but that's okay. See, here's another car. Feet. Turn left onto East State Road 7. And it didn't go to the right nearly far enough, but it, it made it through it. Now turn left onto East State Road 70. Now this is a high speed, like 60 mile an hour road here, so let's see how it does getting out on a state road. There's a car coming from the left, it can't go now. A car coming from the right shouldn't go now. Nope, I'm gonna have to stop it because it shouldn't be pulling out in front of that car right there. You see how close that was. It wouldn't have had a wreck, but I prefer not to pull out in front of somebody like that. And it generally just doesn't have enough boost to get moving fast. So it would have done that safely, but I think that car would have had to slow down because this car just wouldn't have given it enough boost. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It doesn't need to be going that fast. Some of the map data is older as well, so it's not 60 miles an hour here. They changed it to 55, and it will discover that down here when it sees the road sign, but they haven't updated the map since 2022, and it's October of 2023, so some people say they're starting to get map updates. I hope that's the case, uh, but for now, it is what it is, so let's see if it freaks out. Yep. Yeah. It really slammed on the brakes there because of that vehicle that went across the road. Now, it doesn't freak out as often as autopilot does, but it hit the brakes pretty hard right there. It didn't need to hit the brakes that hard, but, you know, part of the challenge with FSD is it's not going to make the assumptions that we make as humans. So it won't assume that that truck's just going to keep going. It's going to be prepared in case it stalls in the middle of the road or something like that it wants to be safe so I get it but it doesn't quite drive like a human yet so I'm looking forward to version 12 which is supposed to be end-to-end -end AI uh, this version is more rules based uh, but in version 12 it's going to be just trained with videos so that should behave more like human beings do because it's trained by humans so we'll see how that does Generally, it does pretty well, and, and back there, like I said, I could have let it go, but I don't want to pull out in front of somebody who's, you know, only a couple hundred feet away. I've seen a lot of these videos on highways and city streets, and that's the thing everybody does. So, one of the reasons I'm doing this video one is... Mile, turn right onto Greenbrook Boulevard. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is so I can show how this behaves on you know, county roads, rural roads, in that type of situation, country roads, high speed, like this, state roads, because um, I don't see a whole lot of that. Okay, why are you braking like that? There's no need to freak out. Um, these 11.4 versions, up through, I think, 11.7, they, they tend to do more phantom braking like that. Like, there's really no reason to to hit the brakes that hard. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't major, but it was moderate braking there for no reason. And of course, I'm looking behind me. There's nobody behind me. Nobody close, anyway. So I didn't have to worry about it. I just let it do it, and I, I didn't intervene. But these are the things we have to put up with right now until it gets better. So it's supposed to take a right right here. And, okay, it started turning and putting the signal on at the same time. Personally, I would have signaled before I got in this lane, not as I was doing it. So I prefer that it would do that, you know, earlier than it does. But as I said, kind of get what you get sometimes. In 500 feet, turn left. And we're going to go ahead. Right. We're going to let it pull into the post office here. Did fine with that turn. 
no problems. Should do fine here too. There's another car coming. Oh, freaked out a little bit there, but it's okay. I mean, you, you have to just get used to this. Um, okay, so we're done. I'm going to take over here and use the post office box here. Uh, and then I'll continue. Now turn right onto Greenbrook Boulevard. A nice full stop at the stop sign, and it should go. I should stay in the right lane. That's fine. I'm completely comfortable with that. So we'll take a, a short, just one block trip down to the feet, grocery store. Down to East State Road 70. Shouldn't have any trouble with this light. Uh, but again, this is a high-speed road, so now turn right on to east I got my foot over the brake. Foot over the brake, just in case here. Now, I don't know. It can't really see. It says creeping forward for visibility. No, you can't go now. I mean, it, it's, it acted like it was just going to pull right out there. So I had to stop it. I don't envy people like Chuck Cook and Dirty Tesla and the people that are testing FSD because it takes nerves of steel to just let this thing do what it wants to do. Maybe it could have gone there and would have been fine. I don't know, but it looked to me like it was just pulling out with no regard to the traffic that was going by. I'm pretty sure. Let's see what mode this is in. I have it set to chill, so... It shouldn't be making any aggressive moves. Okay, so I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let it go all the way down there because I know a shorter way. Turn right onto Lorraine Road. So that'll be it for the trip going here, and I'll just uh, pick it up when I'm on the way home. In 500 feet, turn right onto 59th Avenue East. Okay, this truck wants to get over, I think. The car seems to be waiting for him, but... Now turn right on to 59th Avenue East. It, it made a prediction as good as I would have, so... He's got his turn signal on for further down the road, I guess. First, has the speed limit wrong here, so I had to bump it up a little. When I first started using FSD about two weeks ago, I found autopilot easier to use because with autopilot it'll just keep the lane and you know what it's going to do. With FSD, obviously it's going to be actually driving the car, so it kind of has a mind of its own and you have to get used to it in the same way that you had to get used to FSD, I mean autopilot. Uh, autopilot's a little scary at first, and so is FSD. So, it just takes some getting used to. You still have to monitor it. FSD has some benefits, like you can go more than five miles an hour over the speed limit. It keeps the lane better than autopilot does. Turn right onto Greenbrook Boulevard. Nobody coming here, so this is not going to be much of a challenge for it. Comes to a complete stop, and then it'll go because we were here first. There was a car to the left there. Don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, now it's getting in the left lane to prepare to turn at this light here. Now this is a in light. Five hundred feet. Turn left onto East State Road seventy. But it's unprotected because there's no left turn arrow. So no turn left onto East State Road 70. If there are people across that are going straight, it'll it'll yield to those people. And I've done this turn before, and it does yield to them. It, it's a little bit slow in making up its mind after it's clear, but I didn't have any trouble with this turn. And here comes a car in the distance. I don't know which 
I see they're going to be turning. And it's a little bit hesitant when there's people in that turn lane. And I wonder if it's because it has to make sure they're actually going to turn before it commits. So we'll see what it does. And I'm probably going to put my foot over the accelerator here just in case. Right now I don't have anybody behind me, but if I do, I'm not going to be able to let it falter too long because one thing I worry about with FSD is sometimes it'll start moving forward and then change its mind and, and then hit the brakes. And that's a good way to get rear-ended, particularly when you're going out onto another road because other people behind you, they're not looking. They see you moving forward and they're assuming you're going to complete your maneuver. And if you slow down, they'll run right into the back of you. So you've got to be aware of these things and just give FSD a chance to do its thing, but do it safely. Now, there is somebody behind me now, so I've got to be careful with if this thing decides to slow down in the middle of the lane here, I'm going to have to push it through and intervene. This is a longer light, so... sit here for a little while. Okay, it's green now. And it's appropriately waiting for that person. I mean, you, you've got the right of way, but if you're going to be slow, we'll take it. I like it. Good. Good decision. They should have had a green light on that side. Uh, no green arrows, but they had the right of way because they were turning to the right, and we had to cross them, so really good decision there by FSD, because it looked like they were just not going to go, so FSD took the initiative and, and went. It doesn't seem to have too much trouble on straight roads like this. Keep my yapper shut for a little bit. And, uh, we'll see how we do. A little bit of a jerk to the right there. I don't know what it saw, but it wasn't a major thing, so I'm not too worried about it. It's generally a pretty comfortable drive, but you've got to keep your eyes open. Especially when it's, I'm not sure it, it's so well suited right now for pulling out onto a 55 mile an hour road where people are doing 60 to 65. I'm not sure it can see far enough down the road to be pulling out on these high speed roads like this. And that's one of the things I wanted to test, see if it could do that. And most of the time it does okay, but as you can see earlier, it had a little bit of trouble To my taste, anyway, it would have pulled out too close to someone. In an area like this, I don't really keep my hands on the wheel all the time. I'll, I'll put them up here and be ready if it's turning or in a tight spot, but in an area like this, I mean, it's not gonna, it doesn't take long to put my hands right up there, so I'm paying attention and the camera's happy, so, and it will watch you. FSD seems to watch you through that cabin camera more than autopilot does. Now this spot right here is a spot where autopilot always screws up. Right here, it'll, autopilot will jerk back and forth right here because these lanes open up and it doesn't know what the center is, and it's been like that for years. And I don't think things like that they tend to really fix with autopilot. But that brings up something that, you know, I've been wanting to point out for a while, and that's that I think they should switch autopilot over to the FSD branch of code. That way it can just do lane keeping and nothing else, but it'll be in the same branch of code as FSD, so it'll know the lanes better, it'll determine where the lane markings are and how to go straight better than autopilot does. There's no need to have those two separate. So I'm not asking autopilot to do anything more than it does now. Just keep the lanes, 
you would keep the lane that you're in. Turn right onto Panther Ridge Trail. And then, you know, they can use the same branch as FSD, except limit it to just keeping the lane, and that's it. At least that way, autopilot will be good about lane keeping, and it, it won't swerve like I mentioned back there. And it won't try to get in a turn lane when it's not appropriate, as often anyway, because FSD seems to be much better with that. Whether I'll keep this or not, I don't know. I got it for a month just to try. Uh, if you guys are interested in this sort of thing, let me know in the comments, and I can do more of these. And, you know, more complicated turns, and not just straight roads like this, so... I'll probably end it right here. I'll, I'll put my Tesla referral link down in the description. And thanks for watching. Now turn right onto Panther Ridge Trail. Uh, it was. That's interesting. It was assuming that person wasn't going to stop. 500 feet 